previously on the search for love and trust. I have told you, and I thought that your house would have been a lesson. And look who appears at the hospital. But she's not there to see Abby. Oh no. She's there for Stanley. Sam, what are you doing here? You need to get out. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Where is Stanley? Sorsha A. Bell, I presume. The one and only Sorsha. How can I help you? There was a car that hit Abby. The description of the car is a red sedan with license plate number Hot Sim 1. Oh, Stanley. Why are you here? We have more important things to do. Meanwhile, Sorsha was at her house and she was on her sim book. And did she have a lot to say? That Abby girl needs to be taught that she doesn't mess with me. Robbie, you're such a good dancer. Hey, ladies, I have George on the lookout, and let's be quick about this. We don't want to get caught. Who's your mama, bitch? Now, this what are the elders up to? What exactly are they doing? Stay tuned. Remember, one in each corner, and don't leave any stone unturned and no spot untouched. Got it? And now for part five of the search for love and trust. What the hell? My house! Who did this? I bet it was Abby. You received word of a fire at 215 Simless Drive. Can you tell me anything about what you know since you live close by? What fire? Oh, at the girl's house. Oh, yeah! I really have no idea, but I don't like her. She left a candle on. Oh yeah, I was on my walk and I did smell something baking from her house. So I guess she left the oven on. There's something off about Sorsha. A candle? Or left the oven on? She left a candle on. Tim, you know that. You are aware that Sorsha is the one to hit Abby? I wouldn't look past it, Tim. The club has security cameras outside. Have a look. There's your evidence. Miss Abel, we are currently investigating the cause of the fire. That should have already been done as soon as it was on fire. Hello? I cannot speed up this investigation, miss. I'll let you know when I find out what, what caused the fire. Oh my god! Like, <laughs> you better hurry it up, because I have important things to do. God, that woman. Ugh. You have news about what caused the fire? Yes, miss. I see a candle. That was the source. Yes, I had on a candle because Stanley was going to come over. You were careful with the candles, ma'am. Leaving them on is a fire hazard. 
anything else? It seems the oven was left on. <laughs> yes. Well, I was big cookies for my Stanley. He loves his cookies. You were baking cookies for Stanley and actually left the oven on? Someone must have set my place on fire because my candles in my oven would not set this place on fire. There's no evidence that this was arson. What is arson? Is that even a word? Arson means that someone started the fire. <laughs> this wasn't my fault. It had to be someone else. I said there's no evidence of arson. I don't speak fire. If anything, you left the oven and the candles on. It was someone else. <laughs> no, I'm not going to say it was someone's fault when it wasn't. You must simply learn to do your job. God, that woman. Ha! Huh. She says she doesn't speak fire. She does sure does speak dipshit. Either she's a damn good actor, or she's ready for the psych ward. I really think there's something nefarious going on here. We need to do more research. Stanley needs you to go over to his house. Remember that Stanley called you saying he needs you to go see him. I'm here, Stanley. It doesn't look like he's home. Where could he be? Stanley! Oh, Stanley! I bet that Abby has him. Abby's got Stanley. You need to rescue Stanley. Stanley needs you. Stanley! Stanley, I'm here! Stanley, are you okay? Stanley! Where are you? You asked me to come over. Um, there's no one here. Uh, Abby is out to get you. She's threatening your life. <sighs> After all the stress, I need to go shopping. I'm so glad that the mall is open late. Oh my god. Oh, that dress. Ooh, look at that Chanel purse. I simply must have. Ooh, sales. Um, I don't do sales. <laughs> Ooh, that's cute. Ooh, now this would look sexy for Stan. Oh, these shoes are just simply. Mmm, I think that they'll match. Oh, but it's on sale. Ugh. Oh, now look at this dress. Mm. Yeah, not quite a Louboutin, but that's okay. Oh, now that would look so nice on me. Oh, but I look good in everything. I must buy it. Oh my god, that green. Oh, oh I saw the shirt. Oh, I don't know. At least I have my other home. I mean, I know that it's my parents, but they don't mind. Hmm. No, I don't think that anybody's home except for the housekeeper. Oh, I've missed this place. Oh, it's so luxurious. Oh, these grand staircases. Oh. Let's go and see what's in my room. I need to get out of these clothes. Oh, they smell like fire. Oh, my room. Oh, it's still intact. Thank you, mummy. Ooh, this bath. Oh, that feels so good. Oh, now I can relax in luxury. Like I deserve. After all the stress. I must call mom. Ah, so luxurious. Just like I deserve. Now let's go downstairs and see what there is to do, because it's not quite bedtime.
I don't know where that housekeeper is. <laughs> I need to be served. Oh, oh yes, I think I need a snack. Oh, oh yes, I love the caviar. Oh, thank you, Mummy, for stocking the fridge. I take after my Mummy. But Stanley simply must meet her. Oh yes, the tea. Daddy loves his tea. Oh, I'm so glad that they stopped up. <sighs> I told you! Abby is awake. She's going to kill you. Now, I know Abby's out to get me. I need to just uh, sit and relax. Because I don't know when that bitch will strike. Mommy and Daddy have such good taste. Abby is faking injury. You need to try again. She's in the way. Uh, that's right. Abby is in the way. Oh, thank you, my little friend. Oh, I just feel so good to relax. Oh, it feels so good to be home. I think I'll just stay here. I know that Mummy would be glad to have me home. And Daddy, too. I simply must call them because they have to know about Stanley. And that Abby's after me. Oh, the music room. Oh, yeah. Let's have a little dance. Oh, yes. This is how I practice for my clubbing. <laughs> I learn my best moves for my daddy. Oh, time for bed. Oh, I just love my pink bed so comfortable. Oh, Stanley! Oh, I needed to be with you to let you know you're mine and that oh, I made a mistake with, with Abby. I need you around, Sorsha. Stanley, this is simply wonderful. Oh, Sorsha, you're it for me. Oh, Stanley, this is just perfect. Oh, how did I turn into a fairy? Oh, oh this is wonderful. Oh, Stanley, you're such a good dancer. Already? Oh. oh, was that a dream? Damn. That was not a dream. It was a sign. Yes, it was a sign. Thank you. Of course it's a sign. I'm always right. You need to listen to me more often. I must get ready because uh, Stanley needs me, so I need to go and see him. Stanley needs you to go over to his house. That Stanley called you saying he needs you to go see him. Oh, I need to wear my best outfit. Oh, yes, the makeup is flawless. Oh, and show the right amount of cleavage. And if I do say so myself, my ass looks good in these pants. Oh, 
Hello, Calvin Klein's. Mmm, yes. Mmm, yeah, I think my hair is good. Mmm, I do know that Abby's after me, and uh, I need to look my best when I go to rescue Stanley. A uh, mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest of them all? Me, Sorsha. That was not a dream. It was a sign. You're right. Thank you. I needed that. Remember, you need to get Abby. Yes, you're right. Thank you again, my friend. So meanwhile, back at the hospital. Hmm. Mm, her blood pressure's a little bit low. Yeah, she has a severe um, head injury. We don't know if she's going to have amnesia or even if she will wake up. Um, Come on, Abby. Wake up. Wake up. I know you hear me. Abby, please. I'm here for you. Will she be okay? There's no saying for sure. Well, she has to wake up. I have faith in her. She's going to wake up. Well, let's hope so. No, I know she will. So Stanley's other uh, grandmother um, is in town to help. So Granny is explaining to her what had happened. She got a dose of her own medicine. Now, honey dear, you know that that's right. Poor Stanley. I feel so bad for him. But this Abby sounds so sweet. I'm excited to meet her. I don't think that it should be long until she wakes up. Yeah, I really hope not. Oh, that damn cat. Oh. Oh, I'm sure I look okay, but mm, I need to get Stanley. Oh, I hope I didn't step and catch it. Oh, so disgusting. Hmm, but my top is looking as sexy as ever. Yes, who are you? I'm Sorsha. I'm here for Stanley. You have met your worst nightmare. Uh, who are you? Uh, and where is my Stanley? <laughs> Honey child, Stanley is not yours. He never was. Uh, what you doing here? I have told you many, many times to get the hell out and to leave Stanley alone. Uh, God, you old bat. Ooh, honey child. You have just signed your own death wish, haven't you? Mm-mm, Sorsha, I'd be careful if I were you. Oh, oh, you narrator, shut up. You old bat. So meanwhile, back at the hospital. I'm really worried about Abby. It's not... You know, I really like her. She's not like the other girls. And she is very simple, which I appreciate. Yeah, she is. She is. She is one of a kind. And I feel like that I could trust her. I mean, from day one, I sensed that she wasn't after a man for his money or his looks. Unknown. To everyone else, guess who has come to the hospital? And I don't think she's here for a visit. Hmm. It seems to be clear. Hurry up! Hurry up! What can I use? 
I have to make sure I don't get my clothes dirty. Ugh, this is so disgusting. Hurry up, it needs to be done now. Mm, what's a round that I can use? Hurry up, it's a shelf in the back. Okay, let's put this up. Footage from the nightclub. Got it. What the hell? Hot Sim 1? Conceded much? Attention, we have a code blue and we have a code white. Code blue, code white. Abby, Abby, no! Come on, Abby, pull through! I know you can! Come on, girl! Abby, Abby!